Hello, Nuggets. Okay, uh, you get the crazy hair day today. Look at that. Uh, and the reason you get that is that uh, I haven't... I just, I've just i been up for a few hours, but uh, uh, I'm not feeling well. So I haven't showered, I haven't got ready for the day. And the reason I'm not feeling well uh, is the point of this blog. So I just had a surgical procedure yesterday, which is why I didn't blog for a couple of days. Um, and so I want to do a follow-up, uh, so I have it on record, um, and uh, tell you that I got circumcised. Yeah, so I had something called f phimosis, phimosis, I think I should know that, uh, but anyway, uh, there were a few options given to me, it's not like an infection or anything nasty like that, uh, it's basically dead skin, really, um, skin that hasn't got any elasticity, so I had to get a circumcision, they gave me the option of some creams and some other weird procedures, and the doctor said, you know, the only thing that we know works is circumcision. So we talked about it. Um, I'm 49 years old, and it's a weird feeling, you know. Um, part of my body has changed. Admittedly, a part of my body that doesn't do much anymore. <laughs> but um, I don't know why I'm saying this on camera. Fuck it, right? So um, I just had the procedure. So if you happen to, for whatever reason, go through this as an adult, I'm going to tell you some stuff about it. So you might want to switch off now <laughs> if, if this is not your bag or if this is kind of weird to you. Um, so firstly, it's a general anesthetic procedure, right? They go in, they do all the prep. You have to wear the cute little hairnet and the embarrassing top, uh, whatever it is, the smock, <laughs> the operating smock. Uh, I did it at a hospital called Caesar Sinai in Los Angeles, which if you're from here, you everyone knows. Maybe everyone knows it all over the world. It's pretty famous. Uh, Everything about it was great. The American healthcare system is fantastic. That's not the argument for universal healthcare. It, it, it really is fantastic. It's just exorbitantly expensive, right? But the nurses were wonderful, really well trained, really knew what they were doing, looked after us me really well. Uh, and overall, the system was easy. The, the, the operation was two hours late, which was a little frustrating because I wasn't allowed to drink. So by the time they got me there I hadn't had anything to drink for like 14 hours <coughs> and I was um had a headache and I was getting pretty ornery so uh the two hour delay in the operation pissed me off in other contexts like if I'd have thought if I think about it now I would have been like yeah well you know it's an operation who knows what's going on in there maybe they had another one or an emergency or they had to clean it it's not the kind of thing you want them to rush but anyway I eventually got in Everyone was nice. The anesthesiologist came and spoke to me. He was really nice. The doctor came and spoke to me. The nurses. Everything about it was fantastic, right? So that was all a really good experience, except for it being two hours late, which was a little frustrating. Uh, but happens, right? First world problems. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is um, the pain. It's pretty bad, uh, kind of surprisingly bad. But it's sensitivity pain. It's almost like a tooth. It's like if you have sensitive tooth and the dentist kind of taps it. I don't know if anyone has. I have very sensitive teeth, English. Um, and if they tap the wrong tooth, not drilling, just touch it. I'm like, oh, God, that really hurts. Like biting on tinfoil. Sorry if that's setting your teeth on edge. Um, but it's that kind of pain, right? Because uh, part of my member is exposed now, which has, hasn't been exposed for nearly 50 years. And it doesn't know what the hell to do. And it's painful. A lot. It really hurts. Like, just moving hurts. I can walk fine, but I'm walking kind of hunched over so that I'm not touching any cloth. Touching cloth means shitting yourself, doesn't it? But, but I'm not touching any cloth, and I'm just like... It's a little frustrating. I'm on uh, Norco. By the way, i got to remind... i got to post. I'm off all of my weight loss pills. The insomnia has been out of control. I've been getting two, three hours a night. I think I've had about nine hours sleep in the last week, and that's not an exaggeration. So I was getting a little bit kind of mentally a little bit frazzled. I couldn't concentrate and hearing things and all kinds of weird shit. So anyway, I'm completely off all medication except for now I have this. And this is a pain relief and it's Norco. It's hydrocodone. So it's an uh, opiate, which is obviously a huge problem um, in the world right now, particularly in America. Uh, and it's strong. And what's interesting is 
I don't think hard drugs are an addiction problem to me. I obviously have addiction problems because I was a smoker and I'm still addicted to nicotine, Diet Coke. I've talked about food in general. So I, I have an addictive personality. I have addictive tendencies, as I think most people do. Um, but not to drugs for some reason, you know, because I've done them all and I gave them up all without any kind of problem whatsoever. So now I'm on these and one pill from these, it's only 325 milligrams. I actually don't know if that's a lot or not, but I feel it right away. And it does its job. It, it dulls the pain. doesn't quite dull the sensitivity, but I'm not jumping as much. So I'm a little worried about this. I've got to be careful. It says one every six hours. Um, and after the first pill, the first thought I had was, oh, I think I'd like to take two of those. So I didn't. But I gotta, I gotta be careful of them. I asked them to only give me eight because I'm hypersensitive about. Just, I gotta be careful. This has ruined people's lives. So anyway, I'm on those pills to deal with the pain, um, and I'm a little worried because I did some research uh, on the on the internets. Um, I searched about uh, what the procedure is going to be like afterwards, what the experience is going to be like afterwards. I did this a little bit before the operation, obviously, because I wanted to know what it was going to be. But now I'm realizing the sensitivity thing. He, the doctor told me, you know, one to two weeks it will get better. And I'm like, all right, it'll be tough. But I didn't quite know it was going to be this sensitive and this painful. And I've gone online and people are talking about it being sensitive for like months. So I'm a little freaked out by that. <coughs> So um, the other thing is that, um, anyway, okay, let me finish that thought. So I'm a little freaked out by that. I hope it goes. I have to do some stuff to desensitize it, pour water on it, touch it, and all that kind of stuff. Um, the other thing is, so the anesthesiologist, they put a tube down my mouth to stop me snoring, and I'm a snorer. I assume it's to stop me snoring, help me breathe and all that. Um, my throat is killing me. <laughs> it's killing me. It feels like they put sandpaper down there. Um, I've been coughing a lot and I'm hoping that I'm not getting sick because it feels like sick like the that the area between the back of my mouth and my nose right at the back of my throat is feeling very sensitive I'm hoping it's just swollen and that I haven't actually picked something up um, but yeah a bit under the weather actually spirits are good um, just tired a bit foggy yeah you know just whatever so anyway I got it done what's the date I don't know what date we're at okay August 9th, it's in the records. I am now a circumcised man. My wife's Jewish. So the first thing she said is it looks nicer. <laughs> it doesn't, it's got bandage around, it's got stitches. It's as ugly as it ever was. But um, I'm glad I got it done. The phimosis was freaking me out. I mean, I'm as I've said before, I'm meticulously clean and it was becoming difficult to clean and that just, the stress of that was just too much. I couldn't handle it. I'm like, I gotta fix this. Which is why when he offered me circumcision, I'm like, yep, let's do that, go. Go. Not really thinking about, oh, this will effectively change your life pretty dramatically, certainly your sex life pretty dramatically. So, anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, I don't know whether I'll be able to write. I haven't written for two days because I'm just all over the place. So, maybe I won't be able to write. Hopefully, I'll get it back together. Try and cheat, treat myself well for a couple of days. Just, I think I'm going to be sitting. I can't walk the dogs because I can't walk. I mean, I can walk, but I have to walk all hunched over, like I said. Um, yeah, okay, now it's on camera. Now the world knows. Now my two subscribers know I'm a circumcised man. Enjoy that. Go back and watch my fishing videos now or my football manager videos. It will give you some context for who that guy is. <laughs> uh, all right, you little nuggets. If you have any questions, if someone searches, gonna, I'm going to put it in the tags, adult circumcision, and for some reason they get to this video and they have questions, please feel free to leave me a comment, although I never check the comments, so try it. Maybe I will check the comments and actually get back to you. Um, but I would say uh, just go into it with caution if you are. It's obviously if you've got to get it done, you've got to get it done, but be aware that the sensitivity is off the charts. Oh, and also the peeing. Oh my God, I'm peeing everywhere. It's like that scene in, um, is it me, myself, and Irene? It's, it's a Jim Carrey movie. No, 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 it's not. It's Meet the Fockers, I think, or, or whatever that one was, um, where he pees and he's, I don't know. It's Jerry Stiller or Ben Stiller peeing into a book to try and deflect it. Whatever movie it is, it feels like that. It's insane. 
I feel like I could jet wash my concrete with my stream right now. It's absolutely insane. All right. Anyway, bandages come off tomorrow. My little snake in a sweater gets to take his sweater off tomorrow. Permanently. All right, you little nuggets. Have a good day. I might go take a little nap. Maybe I'll wash my hair in the sink. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Start looking good for the ladies. Have a good one. Yo.